Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I have three kilowatts of solar coming into my off-grid whole house inverter, but only 1500 watts is being used. Let me show you what I found to fix this issue. The top solar array has 12 panels and is 3000 watts. And as you can see, it's a perfectly clear sunny day. And so I should be able to hit pretty much 3000 watts. If I zoom into the screen, you can see right down there in the bottom right hand corner, it's got 1500 watts coming into this battery when it should be saying 3000. So here's what was going on. This inverter slash charge controller has a default charging current of 25 amps. I thought, well, that's fine. My solar panels are connected in series and I have about 450 uh, volts on there. So all I need is seven amps of current to be able to charge my battery. Well, that's not the case. The battery only has an input voltage of 57.6 volts. So in that case, I have to increase my amperage to about 52 or 53 amps in order for the 3000 watts to go into this battery. And so let me show you what happens here when I change the uh, amperage, the charging amps to uh, 52 instead of the uh, 25 that's the default setting here. As you can see, the charge controller has brought the voltage down to 407 right here. But if I go into my settings, go into the battery settings, and go down here to the charging current. I can then change this to about, uh, let's do uh, 53, let's do 52. Um, there we go. And now if I go back to my main screen here and find the uh, solar input one, All right, now check this out. 2,700 watts instead of 1,500, and we should see this climb up to about 3,000. It's about 11.30 in the morning. I'm seeing 2,800 watts so far. Um, this may increase as the uh, day goes on a little bit, but that right there is much, much better than seeing only 1,500 watts coming into this system. It's a simple change, but it makes a big difference here charging my batteries. So keep in mind that your solar panel voltage and amperage is going to be different from what is required to charge up your battery. So for instance, if I was trying to push 3000 watts into a 12 volt battery, I would have somewhere around 14 volts and that would be over uh, 215 amps that I have to set this thing to. And of course you wouldn't want to do that with a 12 volt battery, but um, for this 52 volt nominal battery, the uh, 55 amps is no problem to push into this. This inverter actually has four MPPT charge controllers that can take up to 12 kilowatts of solar. And so I would have to crank that uh, amperage up to something really high. Actually, let's find out real quick. Let me pull up the calculator and let's say uh, uh, 12,000 watts divided by 57.6 volts, 208 uh, Amps. So this battery can actually only be charged at 200. So uh, it would have to have a little less than the 12K for uh, this to work properly. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House YouTube channel. I hope you found this helpful. If you have uh, comments or questions, leave those down below. And uh, hopefully your off-grid inverter system is charging your batteries quickly and you're getting uh, good power off the grid. All right, I will see you in the next video.